What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Mike LaPuma, the Hulk Hogan of Hulk Hogan Collecting. And on today's episode of the Look Through series, we have the WF Magazine July 1989. What an awesome cover that is. Hulk Hogan with his WF title, his Hulk Rules bandana, and the cross. Let's take a look through. All right, as we open it up, we have an ad for an Acclaim game for the Nintendo Entertainment System, Airwolf, based on the hit TV series. I can honestly say I have never, not only never played this game, but I've never even heard of it. But made by Acclaim. Let's take a look through the contacts. We have Greg the Hammer Valentine, Warrior, Demolition, Jake. All right. A little ad for No Holes Bar t-shirt and poster. So sick. Look at that. Only $13. $5 for the poster. And these are Rascals. Tropical Rascals Bite Size Chewy Candies. I do not remember these at all. They look like Skittles. Like a uh, knockoff of Skittles. Anybody remember these? Please leave it in the comments. Love answering you guys in the comments. It's a great way for us to communicate. All right, we have Around the Ring. Macho Man with Sensational Sherry. This is, uh, I believe, definitely before he was king. This is right after WrestleMania 5, so he's not king just yet. And then, of course, we have the CDs 6 for 1, Bon Jovi, New Jersey. Great album. Look at that. Tape a penny here. Get the six for a penny and never answer them ever again. <laughs> All right, we have Hogan. That is from the main event of WrestleMania 5 after he won the title. A very famous pitcher. And here we have WWF Superstars coming this summer to an arcade near you. Hogan Macho. Elizabeth. Do not think Elizabeth was in the game, but she is seen here on the poster. That is definitely heel. Big boss man there from 88. Wow. All right. A little article with Jesse the Body. Sign up for the magazine. 12 issues for 20 bucks. What a steal. And just in case you didn't see this one, here's a full page ad for the magazine with Jimmy Hart. Speaking of Jimmy Hart, here we go. Next page with Dino Bravo. When he first came in, Dino Bravo was with Jimmy Valent. And now he's with Jimmy Hart. And here we go with the Superfly. Jimmy Snooker. Nice body slam on the Brooklyn Brawler. What a splash that was. And here we have a WWF interview with the champ, Hulk Hogan. He's talking about No Holds Barred here. Remember, he left when Macho Man was the champ to go film No Holds Barred. Came back WrestleMania 5 to finish the Mega Power story as he defeated the Macho Man. There he is. There he is as Rip in No Holds Barred. And the Battle of the Titans. Rugged Ronnie versus Greg the Hammer Valentine. Greg the Hammer with his shin guard there. Probably the most boringest feud, as I can remember as a kid. <laughs> uh, maybe as uh, people who are older, my age back then, maybe they liked it. But uh, these matches were pretty boring to me. Look at a young Tony Schiavone. Wow. Still doing commentary now for AEW. More Rugged Ronnie. The Garvin Stomp. And we go into this feud for the IC title, Ravishing Rick Rude, and the Ultimate Warrior. Of course, Bobby the Brain Heenan helping Rick Rude win the IC title at Mania 5. And speaking of, there we go. There's the match. WrestleMania 5, Rude had always the greatest airbrush tights. And there he is, holding the warrior's leg down. 
helping Rude get the three count. Of course, these guys would have a rematch at SummerSlam 1989, and the title would go right back to Warrior, and that would be the only time that Rick Rude would have that title. And here is another promo for No Holds Barred. Of course, that main event at SummerSlam would be Hulk and Beefcake versus the Macho King and Zeus. Spotlight Magazine. Love me some Spotlight Magazine. Magazine devoted to one guy. And this is to the Ultimate Warrior. And we have some trivia. The VHS game. I have that sealed. If you guys want to go back and watch my room tour? You will see that. Thank you guys for all the views on my room tour. I really appreciate it. I uh, couldn't wait to finally get that out to you guys. And here is a merchandise catalog for the summer of 89. Let's see what we got in here. A little Hulkster. I have that. Macho Man. The foam titles. These prices were so cheap. There is the board game. $39.95. Awesome stuff. Teddy Bear. Georgia Animal Steel with mine. I'm not... I don't... Uh, was he still in the WWF at this time? I don't think so, but... Last time I remember it was WrestleMania 4 in the Battle Royal. I definitely had that Powers of Pain shirt. Definitely had that Hacksaw shirt. And I definitely had that Ultimate Warrior tank top. 100%. Into the posters. Love me some posters. Look at that measuring tape Hogan poster. Only 10 bucks. Man, I wish I had the room for that. Warrior Beefcake. Hogan. And there we go. Oh, man. I, I know I say it every video, but I need to buy a box. Of the ice cream. I was holding out to find one where. See where Macho Man is. They make one where Hogan is there. But I do like how Hogan's on the ice cream. Macho and Liz. So there is one on eBay like that right now. And I think I'm going to have to pull the trigger. I could taste those ice creams. Used to get them all the time. At Madison Square Garden. At the house shows. Sensational Sherry. Giving the heels to Brutus Beefcake. Man, she was hot. She was hot. I'll say it. Didn't think so at the time because I was only nine. There they are. My brother Love started the feud between the Macho Man and Beefcake. And of course, Hogan would get involved with Zeus to set up SummerSlam. And then the steel cage match. Demolition. Topple the Twin Towers. Man, that don't sit well nowadays. Holy crap. Demolition and the Twin Towers. Akeem and Big Boss Man with Slick. Loved Demolition. My favorite tag team of all time. There they are. Beating the crap out of the Powers of Pain. That's probably from WrestleMania 5. That I am like sharp down there. Don't want to rip these pages as this magazine is pretty minty. And Hakeem and the big boss man. Love Hakeem. Love the one man gang. Loved his characters. And here we go inside Bobby the Brain Heenan. There's the WrestleMania 5 match Andre versus Jake. With Big John Studd as the special guest referee. A callback to their WrestleMania 1 match. 
It was 50 grand or 10 grand. I forgot which one it was that Andre couldn't slam stud. Of course, Andre was the heel, uh, the baby face, and stud was the heel back in one. And here they change places. All right, what do we got here? Little video cassettes. Coliseum home video. Look at that free Ultimate Warrior Thermos sports bottle. I think I had that as well. Damn. And that leads into the feud between the Million Dollar Man and Jake the Snake Roberts. Man, they would have a match at WrestleMania 6. And this was only right after WrestleMania 5. Holy crap. They giving a slam to Virgil and a DDT. Like I said, I do not want to rip these pages. And they had most had a feud for a year. Holy crap. And here's the WrestleMania festivities. Of course, Mr. Fuji running the uh, the marathon, <laughs> and he jumped in a rickshaw and won. Oh, classic stuff. Look at a young Donald Trump, Hogan jamming out, Jake the Snake. This is pre WrestleMania access or WrestleMania WWE World, as uh, they call it now. I still like to call it access. Look at that. Beefcake signing autographs. Man, this is some old school stuff. Jimmy Hart. Hacksaw. There is Zeus and the Honky Tonk Man. Blue Blazer, Owen Hart. R.I.P. Fabulous Ruzos and the crossword puzzle. And look at that. The Bushwhackers with Lord Alfred Hayes. Lord Alfred Hayes. Tough to say. A little tongue twister. And we started the magazine with Skittles wannabes. And we end with Skittles, the real thing. No pits, no peels, no seeds. Real fruit juice, Skittles. Wow, how crazy is that? The last page would be Skittles after I had the other one was a Skittles knockoff. Holy shit. This actually looks like that real autograph, to be honest with you. I, I can't tell. I, I bought this off of eBay. But why would this be signed? This looks like it's a, a real autograph. I have to go back and, and look to see if I can find any other of this magazine to see if they're signed. Because on my end, it looks like real Sharpie. That's crazy. If anybody has this magazine and could tell me if theirs is autographed, and I don't think so. I do believe that this is autographed by the Bushwhackers. So, what a find. <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy. It was not advertised as uh, autographed by these guys. Holy crap. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys tell me. That looks like a uh, black Sharpie autograph. <laughs> pretty cool. You never know what you'll find here. And the look through series. And on the back page, of course, another advertisement for No Holds Barred. Ah, what a time to be alive. WWF 1989. What a magazine. What a cover. Classic, iconic. Awesome stuff. Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode of the look through series. And stay tuned for my WrestleMania vlog. And uh, we got some new exciting stuff coming up. Again, 
thank you guys for checking out my room tour, and we'll see you next time. Peace.